Equality, a key feature of democracy. Introduction India has a democratic government which provides equality to all the people. Equality is the basic feature on which the stability of democracy depends. It influences all aspects of functioning of the government. In India, all people are equal before the executive, legislature, and judiciary. Equality is among the fundamental rights provided by the Constitution to the citizens of India. Types of Equality Political Equality Political equality refers to the condition when all people are equal before the government of a country. India being a democratic country provides an equal right to cast the vote. All adults, irrespective of what religion they belong to, how much education they have had, what caste they are, or whether they are rich or poor, are allowed to vote. This is called universal adult franchise. Any adult who is of 18 years of age or more has the right to cast vote. It is an essential aspect of all democracies. The concept of universal adult franchise is based on the idea of equality because it states that every adult in a country whether he or she is rich or poor, has one vote. There is no discrimination between a household worker or a businessman. They both stand in the same queue. When they cast vote during election, all the people have the freedom to cast their vote to the candidate of their own choice. In that way, people enjoy political equality, where all the people are equal. Economic Equality Economic equality means when all the people have equal access to the available necessary resources to fulfill their needs of livelihood. When we look around us, we notice that most of the people of our country are living below the poverty line. They don't have enough money even to fulfill their needs. Or these people are doing menial jobs through which they earn very small income. They are not able to make them equal with other people of the society. For example, Sushila lives in a slum and has a drain behind her house. Her daughter is sick, but she cannot take her child to the doctor due to lack of money. She borrows money from her employer. Her job as a domestic help tires her out. And finally, she ends her day again by standing in a long line in an ordinary clinic. But it does not happen with rich people because they have enough money to consult well-known private doctors. They have no need to stand in a long queue due to their better economic condition. So, economic equality is not present in a true sense. Sushila is one of the many people who live in democratic India and who have the right to vote. But those daily living and working conditions are far from equal. These people are many a times ill-treated by other members of the society. Social equality. Social equality means when people belonging to any caste, religion, creed, or race are treated equally in the society. But social equality is also not found in a true sense in India, as Indian society is divided into different castes and religions. Even Hindu religion is divided into four main castes, namely Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra. Scheduled castes or Shudras are discriminated on account of their low standard work. They are called Dalits. Dalit is a term that the so-called lower castes use to address themselves. Dalit means broken and by using this word, lower castes are pointing to how they were and continue to be seriously discriminated against. Om Prakash Valmiki, who is a famous Dalit writer, has written his autobiography by the name of Juthan. In that book, he describes about the discrimination made against him by his school teachers and how he was ordered to sweep the school instead of studying with other classmates. India is a land where people belonging to different religions live together. Before the government, all the people belonging to different religions are equal. Our constitution gives us the right to equality. But this does not mean that inequality does not exist in our country anymore. It only means that our constitution 
formally accepts the principle of equality. This can discourage the government from discriminating, but not the society. In daily life, we find many examples of inequality, equality and dignity. Dignity means self-respect or regard of a person in terms of his caste and religion. When persons are treated unequally, their dignity is violated. As it had happened with Om Prakash Valmiki when he was younger, and studying in his school, where his teacher ordered him to sweep the school instead of studying. Because of his lower caste, Om Prakash Valmiki's schoolmates and teachers hurt his dignity badly and made him feel that he was less than equal to all other students in the school. The dignity of poor people and the people belonging to lower caste is often violated due to their low standard as compared with other people of the society. All the people of society deserve the same respect and dignity. Equality and Indian Democracy The government has made many efforts to ensure equality. All persons, irrespective of their caste, race, religion and origin, are equal before the law and government. The Constitution of India recognizes every person as equal. This is not to say that inequality ceases to exist. But in Indian democracy, the principle of equality of all the persons is recognized. Earlier, there was no law to protect the lower caste people from discrimination and ill treatment. Now, there are several provisions to see that people belonging to lower castes are treated with dignity and as equal. Provisions made by the Constitution All people are equal in the Indian democracy, it is also stated in the preamble to the constitution that there is equal status and opportunity for all the people of India. This recognition of equality includes some of the provisions in the constitution. Article 14. Every person is equal before law. That means, from the president to a domestic worker, everyone has to obey the same law. Article 15. No person can be discriminated on the grounds of religion, race, caste, place of birth or gender. Article 16. Equality of opportunity for all citizens in matters relating to employment or appointment to any office under the state. Article 17. Untouchability has been abolished and its practice in any form is forbidden. Ways adopted by the government to implement equality. The government has adopted two measures to implement the equality that is guaranteed in the constitution. Making laws. The government has made many laws to protect the people from the problem of inequality. For example, according to Untouchability Act, no person can discriminate against any other person on the basis of his or her caste. If any person is found doing so, it will be a punishable act. He or she may be punished under the Untouchability Act. Government Programs and Schemes Government has launched several programs or schemes to help disadvantaged communities. In addition to laws, the government has also set up several schemes to improve the lives of communities and individuals who have been treated unequally for several centuries. One of the steps taken by the government includes the midday meal, which refers to the program introduced in all government elementary schools to provide children with cooked lunch. This program has many advantages, such as more poor children have begun enrolling and regularly attending school. This reduces caste prejudice as both lower and upper caste children eat together. The government has made several efforts to maintain equality of opportunity. There is still much to be done because in several schools, Dalit children are still discriminated and ill-treated due to their lower caste. This evil can only be eradicated after changing our beliefs and attitudes. One of the main reasons for the ill-treatment or discrimination against lower caste people is that attitudes of people change very slowly. Although people know that discrimination is against the law, 
still that practice is going on they continue to treat people unequally on the basis of their caste religion disability economic status and because they are women it is only when people begin to believe that no one is inferior and that every person deserves to be treated with dignity a real equality comes about establishing equality in a democratic society is a continuous struggle one in which individuals as well as various communities in india are to contribute equality in other countries inequality not only exists in india but also in other parts of the world where the struggle for equality continues to be the key issue around which communities struggle for example in sri lanka there is inequality based on language there more preference is given to sinhalese sri lankan tamils as compared to the indian tamils here sinhalese are given preference in government jobs and other opportunities due to which people are struggling for equal rights in the united states of america the african americans whose ancestors were the slaves who were brought over from africa continue to describe their lives today as largely unequal and discriminated on the basis of their color and race this is despite the fact that there was a movement in the late 1950s to push for equal rights for african americans before that african americans were treated unequally in the united states and denied equality through law a long agitation against the unequal ways in which african american were treated came to be known as the civil rights movement the civil rights act of 1964 prohibited discrimination on the basis of race religion or national origin it is also stated that all schools would be open to african american children and that they would no longer have to attend separate schools specially set up for them